guys, welcome back. Okay, so you might see me in the same outfit for a couple of videos because I want to film this video and I don't feel like changing. <laughs> so hopefully you don't mind blue. Okay, so anyways, this video is going to be me just talking about some products that I've really been loving recently and that I just can't get enough of, okay? I love them, love them, love them. And I've been using them for a few months or longer and I really like them. So I just wanted to share those with you guys. I don't typically do monthly favorites videos because even though I do try a lot of products and I do kind of test out a lot of different products, y'all know my thing is eyeshadow palettes. But I try so many products that a lot of times it's just kind of like on to the next, on to the next. So when I do find products that I really, really love and I find myself reaching for them time and time and time and time again, <laughs> then I know I really love them. So I just want to start off. I do have some notes here. So if you see me looking at something in front of me, I did jot down some notes because sometimes when I'm talking to you guys, you know, even though you're here in my heart and in spirit, I'm still just talking to my camera. <laughs> so it's very easy for me to forget what I want to say. So with these videos, I do tend to write down notes. So first item I want to talk about is this Freeman Feeling Beautiful Hydrating Gel Cream Mask. Now, I don't know if you're familiar with the Freeman Mask, but they have a million different varieties since styles, you know, textures, all kinds of different face masks for you to use, try out. So they really have something for everybody. Now, when I purchased this face mask, I actually thought that it was going to be like one of the clear peel off masks, but this is actually a leave on mask. And I didn't realize that until I went to read it and read the instructions. So this mask is really made from glacier water and pink peony. And it's really, really just hydrating and refreshing. This is what it looks like. It just looks like a nice little gel. And when you put it on your skin and rub it in, it just feels so good. It's extremely hydrating. It's excellent to use at night. I think that's what they suggest for this is to use it at night because it sinks into your skin, provides that needed hydration quickly. It's like instant for your skin and it's not anything greasy or oily. You don't have to worry about it getting on your pillowcase or anything like that because it does go ahead and really absorb into your skin. Now, these are really reasonably priced. They're about six bucks. Um, you can get this like I get mine at Ulta, but I know you can get them at Walmart as well. It calms and softens for glowy skin. And like I said, it absorbs easily and quickly and it's great for nighttime use. You do not need to rinse this off. It is a stay on mask and I really, really like it. It just leaves your skin feeling amazing and it's not oily or greasy. So I like this stuff. And I think if you're looking for some, oh, and it's anti-pollution too. I almost forgot that. It helps to fight against, you know, the daily pollution that gets thrown at your face every day. <laughs> so that is good as well. And it has a very nice scent to it. It's not strong or anything like that. It's a very relaxing, calming scent of peony. And I love calming things before I'm going to bed. So this is definitely one of my favorite masks that I have been using lately. Had to go turn the AC off because the AC is extremely loud in my videos <laughs> for some reason. Our AC is like super loud or my speakers just pick up anything or mic picks up anything. So anyways, had to turn that off. Okay, so next I want to talk about something from Mario Badescu Skincare. And this is a facial spray. Okay, now I know a lot of you guys are already familiar with this but I had never tried this. So I ordered some a few months ago and I've been going back and forth between this one and the green one. I can't remember what <laughs> scent the green one is because I actually keep that in my travel bag. But this one, I really, really like the rose water one. Now I get mine from Amazon, the two pack for about 14 bucks. So it's about seven bucks per bottle, which is not bad. And this stuff smells good, it feels good. 
it leaves my face really feeling hydrated and glowy when I spray it on. I love using this actually before my moisturizer. Like I would just drench my face in this and pat it in and it feels so good. Then I just go on top with my moisturizer and move on with my makeup. Now, I also use this after my makeup sometime if I do want a little bit of a glowy <laughs> look. I will use this as well, but I love how it makes my skin feel and it smells amazing. Now, this is something that, like I said, it's very popular out there, but if you've never tried it, I would suggest trying it out because you will not be disappointed. Okay, next, I've really been loving this CoverGirl Matte Made Foundation. Now, this I picked up to try when I was out of town, maybe about three or four weeks ago, and I have not put this stuff down, you guys. I have been using this stuff like crazy. I might try out another foundation or test out another foundation, but just on the regular, I keep coming back to this CoverGirl foundation. Now, this is the True Blend Mad Matte Foundation. It retails for around seven bucks. I think I got mine from Walmart, if I'm not mistaken. So it's really affordable drugstore. It has a comfortable matte finish. It's transfer resistant. They have a really good shade range for drugstore. There's 40 shades to this foundation, you guys. It's oil free. It has a nice pump applicator, which I do like that. I like the doe foot, but I also like the pump when it doesn't get clogged up. Now, my NYX foundation, that can't stop, won't stop, I hate that pump because it gets clogged up every time. Y'all let me know if any of you guys experience that with the can't stop, won't stop. <laughs> it, just, it won't let me use it because it can't stop and it won't stop getting clogged up. So anyways, that's for the NYX. But for this, I love the applicator. It hasn't clogged up on me yet. And I have worn this all day and it stays on, has a great finish. It lasts all day. I'm wearing it now <laughs> and I love this stuff. I love the shade that I have. I have the shade D15 and it works out perfectly for me. So this is a great drugstore foundation if you're looking for something to try out and you do kind of like a matte finish because it is matte, but it's a comfortable matte for me. And if you do want a little bit more of a hydrated or dewy look, you can always use a serious moisturizer like I always do anyway. And you can use a dewy spray and it will kind of, you know, ease up on the matteness of the foundation. But I think it's a comfortable matte, so I like this. Now y'all, <laughs> y'all probably already know because I probably use this in every single video ever since I purchased this. This is the Morphe glamour bronze bronzer and i do have the shade phenom which i believe is the darkest one because they do have three shades of this and y'all i love this stuff okay i love this stuff so much i ain't never even paid attention that there's a mirror in here but i love this stuff it's just so warm it gives me that nice sun-kissed look the main thing I love about this bronzer, aside from the color of it, is the fact that it is matte. It is 100% matte. There is no shimmer, there is no glimmer. Now look, I'm over 40 and I'm aging gracefully, y'all. <laughs> so I don't want no shimmer in my bronzer, in my powder, none of that. The only shimmer I want on my face is if I specifically place it somewhere to highlight but as far as in my bronzer no i want it completely matte and this is completely matte i love it now this bronzer is not cheap i mean it depends on your budget really i guess but for me <laughs> it wasn't cheap this bronzer is what 19 bucks i believe but you get a very nice large pan and I definitely can see this lasting me for a long time because like I said, I've been using this nonstop since I got it months ago and I haven't even hit pan on it. So it's definitely worth the price in my opinion if you're looking for a nice bronzer to try out and you just like a nice sun kissed look <laughs> without the shimmering glimmer, then this is one that you would definitely like, I think. It's buildable, but it's still nicely pigmented. You know, it gives you a little wiggle room. 
I love this stuff, you guys. So check it out if you haven't. It's wonderful. And it comes in three different shades. So I have the darkest one, but it does come in three different shades. Okay, next, I have this Black Radiance Loose Setting Powder, and I have this in the shade Banana. Now, I've seen several different people using this. Um channels that I watch regularly. I've seen them use this and I've always been curious about it. I'm not one to typically buy a lot of different setting powders and loose powders and stuff because when I find something that works, I tend to stick with it because so many powders don't work for me. But this Black Radiance powder, I really, really like it. It's banana, but it's not like you know, that crazy, super duper yellow banana. It's a lighter banana and it is very finely milled. So it's a nice fine powder, nothing too heavy, nothing too thick. It doesn't show up like crazy. It does give a nice light brightening effect, which I like. And I think that it doesn't smell like anything. So if you don't like scents or anything like that, you'll be good with this because it has no scent at all. Now, this powder blends seamlessly on my skin whenever I use it. It does have a bit of a blurring effect, so it does help to kind of hide your pores and give you a more smooth look to your face. So I really like that about this. It does last all day for me. It keeps my oils at bay. Now for me, when I do my makeup and I powder my face and stuff, like after a couple of hours, it's just, it's inevitable. I'm going to get oily in my T-zone. That's just my MO. <laughs> you know, it doesn't matter what I use on my face, I'm going to get oily in my T-zone. So I usually just take a napkin, a paper towel, and just blot, and I'm perfectly fine just like new. You know, if you have oily areas on your face and stuff like that, sometimes it's hard to just get around that. So with this Black Radiance Loose Powder, I like it. It works nicely all day. It sets under my eyes because I only use banana powders, powders under my eyes and in my highlighted areas for the most part. I typically don't use it all over my face unless I'm just being lazy and it's one that I know is not going to show up light or bright. But it definitely leaves my under eyes looking nice and smooth and brightened. So I really like this stuff. This stuff is pretty affordable. It's only about six bucks and you know, you can't beat it. A lot of, of the lesser expensive powders are not finely milled, but this one this one can compete. It's really nice, you guys. I like it. Okay, now I want to switch gears to a couple of really affordable items, okay? I have to tell you guys about this sponge, okay? This is one of my Shop Miss A sponges, and I love these sponges. Right now, you can't give me anything else. I don't want it. I just came off of being in love with the Sonia Cash sponges, which I still really like. But I love these Shop Miss A Paw Paw sponges. They are very, very soft. When you dampen these, you know, when you moisten them and squeeze them out, they get really big. I mean, I probably should have wet one to show you, but they get really big. They're nice and soft. I mean, using this on my face, I don't feel like I'm beating the heck out of my face. It's just super soft and it blends out my makeup seamlessly. Now, y'all. Guess how much these sponges cost? A dollar fifty-five. Okay, one dollar and fifty-five cents. <laughs> and now on Shop Miss Say, if you're familiar with Shop Miss Say, you know that they have all kind of stuff that's just a dollar or extremely inexpensive. You know, so you can pick up some makeup items for you know girls on a budget and stuff. Part of the profits from these sponges go to help support causes that fight animal cruelty, testing on animals, and things like that. So I think that that is a really great cause to go ahead and buy some great sponges for. So part of the profit goes to that. So if you're really like an animal lover or you're really like all cruelty free and you hate testing on animals and stuff and you want to support something that goes towards fighting that, 
then this is a great little item to try. I love these sponges, okay? I have been stocking up. That's a problem I have, you guys. I, I have a problem. <laughs> when I find something I like, I stock up on it. And you know, for $1.55, you know I done bought a gang of these. So I love these sponges, you guys. Check them out. Shop Miss Say, $1.55 super soft and they don't break down super easily i have washed this i wash my sponges every time i do my face <laughs> so i've probably been using this sponge for the last couple of months washing it every single time to get all my foundation out and it's just like new it hasn't broken down at all so just because they're inexpensive doesn't mean that they're going to tear up so I like these, okay? I like these, you guys. I really, really do. Also from Shop Miss A, I was actually on there looking for some brushes. Lord knows I don't need another brush, but specifically for a nice brush that I can use for cut creases, that is one brush that is just like super hard to find sometimes. Because when doing a cut crease, you need a brush that's going to be nice and neat and precise, no crazy hair sticking out everywhere. You need it to be a nice, clean, round shape, and you need it to be nice and flat and something easy to work with. So on the Shop Miss A website, they have these Kala concealer brushes. Let me go ahead and show you. I don't know if it's Kala or Kayla, but this is what it says, if you can see that. C-A-L-A, -A, and it's just their concealer brush. And this brush, I really, really like the shape of it. I like the density of it. It just allows me to do a quick and easy cut crease. It's nicely rounded. It doesn't have any crazy hairs all over the place and it holds its shape. Now, these brushes are only a dollar, you guys. <laughs> it's only a dollar. And as you can see, it's still in really good shape. Like I said, I wash my brushes every time I do my makeup. I know I'm a freak, but <laughs> I do. I wash my brushes every time I do my makeup. So my brushes do take quite a beating and this one is still in pretty good shape. So, I mean, if it fell apart tomorrow, I would still feel like I got my money's worth <laughs> because I only paid a dollar for it and I've been using it for months. So this is just one of the brushes that they have on the Shop Miss A website, which is one of my favorites. I wanted to share that with you guys. So if you do happen to like to do cut creases, but you find it kind of difficult to find a brush that works for you, this is one that works for me. I like it. The density is perfect. It's not super soft. It's kind of stiff, but it's not too hard. And I love the shape of it. And it's pretty large as well. The brushes are a decent length to where I can get a nice cut crease and I can get that cut crease canvas on a good section of my lid so it doesn't take me all day. So check them out, Shop Miss A Concealer Brushes. Okay, now I quickly wanna talk about this mascara that I've been using for a few months now. <laughs> I am amazed at how long this mascara has lasted me, you guys. I got this in one of my boxes. I'm thinking it was my boxy charm, but Y'all know I get so much stuff, I can't remember. It's impossible. But I got this in one of my monthly subscription boxes months ago, and I have been using this nonstop. I really haven't even been switching up, trying other mascaras, because I really want to go through this. And it just won't end. It will not end. This stuff is lasting and lasting. I really like this mascara because it's not too thick and it's not too loose. It's like the perfect thickness for my lashes. You guys know I use a good amount of mascara because I typically don't wear false lashes. So I need something that is going to build up my lashes, lengthen them and you know, thicken them a little bit. I don't have this on today because I did try something out today from one of my boxes. But now this is what the wand looks like, you guys. As you can see, it's that hard plastic with very small, tiny bristles on there. Now, when I first saw the bristles for this mascara, I was like, mm, is that gonna be something that is gonna work for me? Cause I typically don't like the hard plastic, you know, bristles for mascara wands. I like the regular old school brushes, but I found that I've gotten used to using this and I like how it separates and disperses the product on my lashes. I actually really like it. So this mascara is very nice, it's super black, I mean very black, 
and I haven't had any issues with flaking or anything like that. It seems like I have heard some people say that maybe it didn't really work that well for them or they had some flaking, but for me, I haven't ha had any flaking or any issues. I mean, I do need <laughs> a good uh, makeup remover when I'm taking this off at night. And I think part of that is because I do use a lot of mascara on my <laughs> lashes. So I can't blame it on the mascara because I tend to pile on the mascara. So I do need, you know, to really go in with a makeup remover, something kind of, you know, creamy and soft to get it off of my lashes at night. But it's not a problem. I like it. Now, this mascara has two wands. The top wand has a different shape and size. This one, I, this is something I really, really like about this mascara. This one here, let me show you. This wand here is for the lower lashes. So as you can see, it is extremely small, thin, tiny. It is perfect for doing your lower lash line. I love the fact that it comes with this dual wand. I think that is so bomb. I wish all mascaras came like this. Now this mascara is about 18 bucks. So in my opinion, it's not cheap. I think it's worth the $18. Some people, you know, don't mind spending up to $30, $40 on a mascara. I'm not one of those people, <laughs> okay? So it takes a lot for me to say a mascara is worth about 18 or 20 dollars so this one i think is definitely worth it the two wands it lasts all day for me it stays on until i scrub it off and i do like the applicator in the way that it disperses and lengthens my lashes so I like this stuff, you guys. It's really, really nice. Now, lastly, I just want to share with you guys some makeup remover wipes that I purchased from Target. This is about my third pack. <laughs> now, this is a Target brand. I think it's called Up and Up. So their stuff is like comparable to the name brand items, but of course, at a lesser price. This, I believe, was only about $2.49. You get 25 wipes in here. And these work really great. They're super soft. They have a nice amount of moisture and dampness to them. It takes off my makeup at night whenever I want to. Now, typically, you know, I do a full face of makeup, okay? I don't really <laughs> half step when I'm doing my face. It's either all or nothing. So when I take my makeup off, a lot of times I like to wipe it off with makeup remover wipes first before I go in with my cleanser and all of that. So these are great for taking my makeup off, even my mascara. It helps to take that off as well. But what I really like about these wipes, inexpensive, 25 per pack, but these smell like lavender. I'm pretty sure that's the scent. It smells like lavender and they're so calming and just relaxing when I use these on my face. These are actually called evening calm. <laughs> so these are great to use at night when you're taking your makeup off before you go to bed or even if you're not taking your makeup off and you just like to wash your face and before you go to bed just use something on it you know to make sure you got everything off. And these smell really nice. I mean, the lavender is just so calming. Sometimes I like to just go in and just use one on my face just so I could smell it. It smells so good. So these are some wipes from Target, inexpensive. If you want something that's pretty much as good as like the Neutrogena and stuff, but you can't really afford those, then check these out because they're really, really good. I like them. And like I said, this is about my third pack, so you know, I'm gonna keep buying them. <laughs> so anyways, you guys, that's it for my favorites right now. Just items that I'm using over and over and over again, regardless of whatever other makeup I'm testing out or playing around with. Those are just some of my current favorites. So hopefully you enjoyed watching this video. Let me know down below. Do you guys like any of these items? Have you tried any of them? Are you going to try any of them? And let me know what you think. Okay. So thanks so much for watching you guys. And I will see you on my next video. Toodles.